Welcome back, friends, to another Large Family Meals of the Week where I show you a bunch of stuff <laughs> that I either home cook up or get from the freezer or we eat out or from wherever the food comes from for my family of 11 with 10 still at home full time, but grandmother's here, so now we're back up to 11. But then we might have some other people come over, so then we might be 13. We'll just see how it all goes. But today, today of all days, it's a glorious sunshiny day. We can write a poem about today. Anyway, we are headed over to play all day in our friend's field. But my mama gift to myself is when we get home tonight, because we're gonna play till like dinner time. When we get home for a late dinner, after all this fun, dinner's gonna be ready in the slow cooker. Now I have a recipe up over on largefamilytable.com for instant pot and navy beans and ham, but you can also do this in the slow cooker. So I'm doing the slow cooker variation a day where you just dump it all in the slow cooker and it cooks all day. Yes and amen, that's my favorite, that's my favorite. So let's get this slow cooker navy bean and ham going so I can hit the road and go have friend therapy in the field. Isn't that good? Do you have a good friend like that that you can just sit all day and have friend therapy if you don't find one. I know they can be hard to find, but when you get one, grab her, don't let go. Say, you're gonna be my therapy friend. So I'm blessed to have a couple girlfriends in real life and we just spend all day and the kids play. We do life together, yes and amen. Okay, time to chop these carrots. And what I mean by the carrots is, here, let me show you this way. In the recipe, I will link it for you below. Calls for, but you know, we work with what we have. Two carrots peeled and diced. Three cups of ham, dried navy beans, chicken broth, carrots, onion, celery, garlic, some diced tomatoes, on and on some dried thyme, but I'm gonna also use some basil. So it's my recipe, but then I'm doctoring it up some more. I've got some baby carrots, and so I'm just gonna throw some of those in, trying to cut down on my cutting time. I am going to quickly chop up some celery, chop up an onion, Everything else is throw and go. I like to keep these packs of already diced ham in the freezer. And this expires July 30th, so we're right on time. It just caught my eye for a minute, because I'm like, what month is that? I know, I can do my months. Anyway, we need three cups. So this will actually be a total of about four. A little extra ham won't hurt us. And chicken broth, I think I've got one. Yeah, one that's already open that needs to use. So, okay, let's get chopping and throwing. Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Click my link in the description below and use my code Jamarell for $5 off the four pack variety box. And you get this cocoa, you get frosted. It's just like kid cereal, right? You get, this is one of my favorites, peanut butter, mm-hmm, just had a bowl of that and then, I was working on the uh, the maze on the back of this thought box, but you get fruity, yay. And I know my life is a, a mix, a hodgepodge of veggie prep and then veggie shortcuts, you know, or dinner prep and dinner shortcuts. So here I am with the celery that's already chopped. And the reason that I do that is it's a quick snack for myself pretty much. Not everyone likes or even takes the time to eat like celery with peanut butter or celery with laughing cow, but that's a snack that I like. So I'll get these celery packs already chopped just ready for me to slather some light laughing cow cheese on or something. It's just a good crunchy thing that I like to eat. I know that I can get the whole celery and wash it and chop it down myself. But then again, sometimes if I have to do that, I won't unless I'm making a recipe. But now here I am, this is the only celery I have. That makes sense, I'm glad. So like all other humans on this planet, I'm not always one way, you know? It doesn't always have to be the celery <laughs> example. There can be shortcuts, and I like that. Shortcuts are my favorite. I am gonna spray my slow cooker there, although I can't tell you the last time I had something burned in my slow cooker, but why not put a little spray in there, put my veggies, these veggies in there. 
Now, carrot-wise, I'm just going to wash, wash some. You know, we'll wash the equivalent of two carrots, and they'll just be... They'll just be there being carrots and liking it. But I'm not going to take the time to cut those down any further. I'll do two handfuls. Where are my kids right now? Well, they're waiting. They're waiting in the van with the doors open, waiting to go to their friend's field all day and play. Come on, mom, what are you doing? So, I'm a hurrying, I'm a hurrying. That'll be good enough. Okay, I'm gonna put, can put my beans in. You do this, throw it in any order, absolutely any order. perfect world you wash beans before you put them in but this is Jay Morrell world this is how we do okay come on come on honey. good good we're doing it we're doing it In my uh, eyeball <laughs> eyeball method that was a bunch of basil now I'm gonna put a bunch of thyme in here I have the exact measurements oh we just use that up exact measurements over in the recipe how many ounces are you okay also another example I will do my own homemade chicken broth and bone broth and have freeze it. And I will also at other times get chicken broth from Walmart. So, yay. Okay, we're doing it. It's done. Now we're off to the field. Okay, I caught myself. I was walking away and I'm like, what's left on this counter? I forgot to dump my diced tomatoes in there. So we'll do that real quick. Gabriel walked through, so he gets to be my cameraman. You know, back in the olden days of my YouTube channel, Gabriel, Jaden used to be my cameraman. Now Liam's running through. Kids were in the van. Scents have started trickling out, so that's my also my cue time to go. Let me get a wooden spoon real quick here. Camera Gabriel, thank you. Good job. Okay, also perfect world. I very well could have used a smaller slow cooker to do this. A lot of times it's even recommended for if you're not gonna load it to the top like how you know I like to do. This is my 10 quart slow cooker and again, I'm just not taking time to do nothing different. It'll all be okay. So there we go. The beans will expand, everything will cook, everything will like it. Now off to the field. All right, friends, we are home and I just took this slow cooker lid off and you can see how my beautiful beans, beautiful navy beans and ham. So yay, we're also gonna chop a watermelon. Well, good evening. I got my baby good and happy. Long time nursing, diaper blowout, things you talk about in a food video, right? was happy in a swing, so I was working on getting dinner things set up to film tonight's dinner for you. You will be so proud of me for filming this dinner. Then my baby wasn't happy anymore, but that's okay, because my mom is here, so she's holding the baby. <laughs> and I can film tonight's dinner. Jamerelle, how do you film your videos? Yeah, yeah, my mom is here holding my baby. And then all the other kids are outside swimming with their daddy, so that's how we're making things work this evening. So tonight, I am doing, finally, I think I've said I'm doing this recipe in like, three or four other videos here recently, but we're doing it, it's happening now. We are doing low carb cabbage roll casserole. Yes and amen. This is different than the cabbage roll soup that I made, but then again, a lot of the same ingredients. Okay, okay, same So right now, of course, Q 
Hugh Garage air compressor right on time. We are going to cook up about four and a half pounds of ground beef. The recipe over on largefamilytable.com calls for four pounds. Half an extra pound of ground beef will not hurt. We also have some onion. Once it's cooked through, we'll add in our garlic. I'll show you what we're cooking up, but let's get cooking. And then the other thing, remind me, remind me. So tomorrow we are going to the lake again because it works out we can get another day in and the weather's cooperating. No thunderstorms, yay. But today we spent all day out at a local playground with a lot of new equipment with many families from our longtime homeschool group. And we packed, this is where I'm going with this and this is how it relates to the lake. We packed what was left of our apples, what was left of our clementines. We packed two like half bags of cashews that were left. I think Liam made about 16 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches this morning. There was a few more things I feel like that was in there. Oh, I think just the little packs of peanuts that we had left from a box of those we got from Sharp Shopper. So scrounging around. So tomorrow for the lake, I want to put in a Walmart grocery pickup order that's like, look at this slick mama trick. If I can put it in tonight, pull up to Walmart when we're all heading to the lake tomorrow, have them put it in the back, go to the lake, there's lunch in the back. Thank you, Walmart. So I'll have to pick probably some fruit, maybe even some Uncrustables, we shall see. Gonna get some quick, easy things that will be cheaper than eating out. And I obviously need to do some fill-in shopping around here anyway. already sprayed my pan. Alrighty, so now I'm going to add in the garlic and let it cook for another minute or two. Alrighty, so I'm adding in my second can of tomato sauce. We're just gonna let this simmer about two or three minutes. I'm going to add more spices to my Walmart pickup order tomorrow, and those spices can go to the lake with us, because like I just used the last of the basil. I usually use thyme in this recipe, I have none. So it's like, okay, it's just time. It's time for more thyme. It's time for me to get 
some other spices. You know, I kept running out of garlic powder and onion powder, so I've got what great value brand, of course, about 10 each of those. So I've been on those for a little bit. Okay, so we'll give that this a few minutes. Confession, I know I'm making dinner, but I'm hungry. And I still, you know, filming takes time, cooking takes time. So I'm having like half a bowl of the navy beans and ham left over from last night. We don't have enough for a full dinner, but we have the equivalent of a couple bowlfuls left. So I'm just doing my part, eating up the leftovers. Yes, I am. Okay, so now I'm going to add in all that cabbage that I chopped, and we're going to add in the ground beef sauce that we made and stir it all up. Yes, we are. So, got one of my bigger bowls, not the biggest though. Hopefully we can do some cooking with the super mega biggest bowl here. Okay. The action shot, right? Uh huh. This is that pan that we bought it wasn't it two or so years ago mm -hmm. you remember that video don't you if not you'll have to go find it <laughs> I threw out my old faithful pan and got a new one and this is amazing kitchen utensil that one of you viewers sent me and I Use it often in my cooking. Just gonna stir this all up now. And this cabbage is gonna reduce down a lot. A lot, a lot. Got kids dodging in every direction. Oh, oh my god those beans I was trying to eat, eat real quiet like on my dress. Okay, really no pretty way to do this. And since as always, even when I cook my own recipes, I keep on bigger it, bigger and bigger. <laughs> so I'm using my, not my nine by 13 pans. These are my next size up pans. That is always, oh, I can never remember the size dimensions of. Now tomorrow, we are gonna do a slow cooker dinner. Get that going in the morning and have that tomorrow night. I like mixing in, you know, I gotta get my cooking times in cause I like to cook. But then I also love to just dump stuff in the slow cooker. <laughs> Chop some cucumbers or something, right? Okay, a little bit left. We will just keep putting this in both. Okay, we can do it, we can do it, yay. Now we're gonna top with some more tomato sauce. Real quick, this is what it looks like before I pour it on. Okay, looking good, looking good. Now I'm just gonna cover each of these with foil, and then we will bake it. At the end, we're gonna remove the foil and add some mozzarella on top, and bake it for just a few more minutes. Now I hadn't said it earlier, but we preheated the oven to 375. And now they'll cook for about 45 minutes. Yay. Alrighty, so the casseroles are gonna be out soon and we are getting the table set for dinner. So this is the watermelon that's left from last night. Also some honeydew melon and just uh, like half a cup maybe of cantaloupe that I cut up the other day. So we will finish these tonight and the watermelon cause you know, they don't stick around too long. And then that is some grapes. That we started washing before I realized we had those melons left. And then carrots, because some kiddos love those. Daniel loves carrots with ranch and some ranch dressing. 
and then we will have the cabbage roll casserole. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. I have now pulled the casseroles out and I added one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese to the top of both and they're gonna go back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. I will just eyeball it. All we're trying to do is melt the cheese, yay. And here are the two cabbage roll casseroles for dinner now, yay. And here is my mama plate, yum. So good morning, I had, I think I might've showed you yesterday, two bags of French toast sticks in the freezer from Freezer Cooking I did, I think in February, yeehaw. And so kids have been having these this morning. These are two more plates we just heated up. And I am having some of that fantastic cabbage roll casserole for breakfast. It is so good. Yes, I'm eating it in the morning. Mm -hmm. Second cup of coffee, I tell you, good day. So. We're going to the lake for the day. I did put the chicken scraps, need to take those out. I did get that Walmart grocery pickup order for the lake. Got that put in last night, sorry. Like 10 things are happening in front of me, so I'm gonna close my eyes so I can focus. We need to pick that up on our way to the lake and that has lunch stuff for us. Right now, I'm going to get dinner in the slow cooker before we run out the door. I think after me getting dinner, dinner in the slow cooker, we're pulled together because people are loading the van, doing jobs, lots of things are happening that need to happen in order for us to go spend all day at the lake. So anyway, this is a beef steak and peppers slow cooker meal, but I'm going to just brown the meat on either side before putting it in the slow cooker. That's a little something extra special. Also, you don't have to do that, but again, with different things going on, I've got a couple minutes I can do that. And then I'm gonna cheat, instead of standing here and cutting peppers and onions, which you know I love to do, you can also get these pepper and onion blends at Walmart. And so I've got a couple bags of these. This is yellow onion, red peppers, and green peppers. And that's exactly what my recipe over on largefamilytable.com calls for. But instead of chopping them, I'm just dumping these in. We will thicken the sauce that we make this evening. I'm gonna cook this on low for about six to eight hours. You can also cook it on high for four hours. Whatever works best for you with your day. But we will be at the lake a good six hours or so plus driving time. So anyway, let's get this meat browning. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn my slow cooker on low so I don't forget to turn it on. Wouldn't that be like a day I'm leaving the house for the day, right? We're gonna put in liquid aminos. We got two cans of diced tomatoes, garlic powder. Of course, we have our vegetable blend. So all I'm doing here is we are just cooking the sides. We're not gonna cook it through. It's gonna give it a wonderful texture. When we are done browning our meat on both sides, I have eight of these total. Then we're gonna add some water to the pan and just deglaze it, or I may even use a little broth. We will pour that to be the beginning of a sauce that will cook all day as well. So let me just, it doesn't, it's like two minutes each side. Okay, I'll let, let those sit there another, another minute. Yeah. Almost, almost. And again, you don't have to do this. So many times I just dump everything in. I call them throw and go meals. I, I throw them in there and I go. But if you got just a couple minutes, this makes it nice. Okay, so there's our next pile of beef. And now I'm gonna deglaze the pot and we'll pour that in. So just, I'm gonna use some chicken broth. Okay, so I am also incorporating my throw and go method of dumping and going because we gotta go. So in my recipe, I talk about how you can mix the tomatoes and the seasonings in a bowl. But again, mama's, mama's just doing half of it and throwing the other half in. I'm adding in liquid aminos. I'm also gonna add in garlic powder and dump the peppers and onions on top. And I will be heavy on the garlic powder. You don't have to be. Oh, just a little bit left. Throw it all in. I'm gonna mix this up with my wooden spoon in a moment. Alrighty, stirred everything up there. Pour it on the peppers and onions. And you can mix those up too. I'm just going to put my lid on now. 
and like it. There will be other juices made as the meat cooks slowly throughout the day. And then this evening we will thicken that a little bit to make a sauce. Okay, everybody's out in the van. Grandmother's got her dog put up. We're gonna go pick up our Walmart order, heading over the river and through the woods to go to the lake today. That's our song. And dinner's in the slow cooker, yay! It just helps me to like say all the things. Whatever kind of auditory learner I am or whatever, when I make my to-do list, helps me to have it on the whiteboard for visual, helps me to say it for auditory. So that's my brain analysis for this morning. Anyway, so by now you have probably seen my video. I believe I'm calling it, they're going to put me to sleep where I share with you I have to have a procedure done on my right kidney. So I called yesterday, this relates to this drink I'm trying to make, okay, okay. I called yesterday, I have an appointment for next Thursday to get another x-ray and set up that procedure. And I explained in the video, if you haven't seen it yet, we're not doing this as an emergency procedure because as this moment I'm not in pain, although I've had pain with it before. And we were treating it as a kidney infection and doing lots of antibiotics and you know drinking over a gallon a day, doing all those things under my doctor's direction. So now I have to have a procedure done but in the meantime, I'm also trying some natural remedies because I wouldn't mind going in next Thursday and them doing an x-ray and my kidney stone is gone and I don't need to have anything further done. That would also be nice. I still, under my doctor's direction, disclaimer, 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 drinking my gallon of water a day. I am also adding in apple cider vinegar or lemon juice to what I'm drinking. You will have to go to Google University for yourself and you will have to talk to your doctor. But I've talked to several moms who've had this procedure done that I need to have done. No one is a fan of it. Some moms I've talked to have been like, I've had it done twice, I will never have it done again, I don't care. I will have full on surgery before I have this done. Okay, so I'm not super excited about having this procedure done or being put to sleep. Okay, so, <laughs> and some other moms I've talked to have told me, They've been able to dissolve their kidney stones with apple cider vinegar. Again, not my medical claim, something that I heard. And I know adding apple cider vinegar to like salad dressings and trim healthy mama sippers and such is good for your overall health for many reasons. Again, you go to Google University, you go down that rabbit hole. But I said all that to say, let's make my quart size drink that I'm going to drink between here and the lake. And then when I get to the lake, I'll make another one. That's how I'm getting all this fluid in. I've been drinking out of quart jars. Obviously this is not, but this is just a to-go cup with a lid. So if I'm not at home, I drink out of this. And this is actually a little over a quart. So I drink four of those a day. I've been doing this since before January, you know when I ended up in the hospital in January, if you're new here, look through my videos. I tell you I'd link it below, but I might forget because I do. By the time these videos come out, I'm like, what did I say I would do? Oh, I forgot all about that. Anyway, click the videos tab and go down to the video that says Jamarel Y all the morphine. Okay, so I've had, it's June now, so I've had like six months of drinking a gallon a day or more. We're gonna get on top of this. I'm going to, in my drink today, I've been drinking these drinks anyway. And so I put one of these in and then, whew, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You want it with the mother, okay? You want the good, good ACV stuff. Do two tablespoons of that and the rest water. When I get to the lake, I'm trying to think what I have. I'll probably just be doing water then until I get home this evening, so. Thanks for listening to the update. Now I'm gonna make this drink. Okay, and this is what I'll pour. Where am I drinking? And these are nice because they have a little caffeine. Yay, little caffeine. This is a brand new apple cider vinegar, so I finished a whole bottle of it. I don't know the time period, but some moms I've talked to when I've asked about this just have told me this helped them dissolve and helped their kidney issues. My urologist isn't impressed. I just said, well, you know, it won't hurt you. So whatever, that's fine. I have to drink anyway. I just feel like it's worth a shot, right? Worth a shot, not hurting me. If it works, it works. I talked to my chiropractor because some folks have told me that their chiropractor could give them some supplements and it helped dissolve. My chiropractor is not impressed with that because of the size of my stone. 
because it's 10 millimeters. I don't know. Wish I could figure it all out. But I'm also thankful to get the procedure done if, because that's the direction we're also going. Alrighty, heading out the door now, driving away, yay. All right guys, so picked up the Walmart order, repacked it in our bags. We got four of these salads, some clementines, the apples are under there. And then in here, all kinds of kids stuff. We've got, I actually got two boxes of like the Kool-Aid jammers, I think it's called. So one's in there. We got raisins, we got craisins, we got Pringles, and then way under there we've got Uncrustables, cause mom ain't thinking. And then I'm also gonna fill a third bag with water bottles. And yay, we're gonna hit the sunshine. Okay, so we're at the beach, we're at the lake beach. So I'm having my salad. Benny, you having your chips? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I had them have an Uncrustable and a Clementine before they got their little Pringle pouches. We are back for the lake. Just got those veggies out to go with our dinner. I'm making brown rice. Got the table set. Got our slow cooker out. I added some xanthan gum into that to make the sauce. So now I just have to go drain the brown rice and it'll be dinner time. Okay, so here is my mama plate. We have our beef steak and peppers and our rice. And I put the beef steak and peppers over my rice and then I've got a bunch of veggies. And we're just all gonna chow down eating dinner tonight after burning all of our energy at the lake today. Yay. Well friends, you know today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Even though this video is heavy on the dinners, uh, Magic Spoon is what I've been shoving in my face a lot of mornings for breakfast. Yes and amen. Now, kids like it too but they've got their own cereals this is uh my mama's cereal so we've got the frosted frosted flavor we have cocoa flavor we have my favorite peanut butter flavor and you can also mix the peanut butter and the cocoa you can do your own thing right and we have the fruity flavor and i like on the back of these they have like grown-up things, <laughs> word searches and mazes and such. And what is super great about Magic Spoon is it is high protein, low carb, and has zero grams of sugar in it. Yay! Magic Spoon tastes like the cereals that you remember from your childhood and I remember from mine, but there's obviously something a little different with these. There's actual nutritional value. Magic Spoon is extremely nutrient dense. It makes it more versatile than your average bowl of cereal. And also something else I love is their boxes are happy. <laughs> these are happy boxes and I told you it's got grown up games on the back, but it just makes you feel like a happy box of cereal, not a dull box of cereal like a lot of quote healthy cereals are. You'll get just boxes that aren't happy and this is a happy box. It's got whimsical covers and as I keep mentioning, you know, old school games and mazes on the back. It just gives you something to do while you're eating your healthy cereal and having a good old time. Forbes magazine calls Magic Spoon the future of cereal. Magic Spoon tastes too good to be true. If you love cereal but want a healthier option, Magic Spoon is an absolute must try. At roughly $1.80 per bowl, Magic Spoon is perhaps the least amount of money I've ever spent in the name of health. The cereal definitely sustained me for longer than most overpriced granolas. Click my link below and enter code JMORELL to get $5 off their best-selling four-pack variety box. Magic Spoon is brand new 2.0 adult version cereal that tastes like regular cereal, but is high protein, low carb, and zero grams of sugar. No grains, gluten, soy, or artificial flavors ever. It satisfies your sweet tooth cravings and makes the perfect healthy yet delicious meal or snack keeping you full for hours at a time. Once you try Magic Spoon, you'll never go back to traditional box cereal. It's so good, there's even a happiness guarantee. Again, click the link in the description below, enter code JMORELL to get $5 off Magic Spoon's best-selling four-pack variety box. So here's my favorite, peanut butter. 
Yum. I just love peanut butter in all its forms. We've got zero sugar, four net carbs, 14 grams of protein, and then high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free. Boy, talk about checking all the boxes. Wheat free, naturally flavored, totally delicious, childlike cereal for grown ups. <laughs> I love it. Hold on to the dream. Tobin, say hi, friends. My camera is sitting on a glass of almond milk. What? Do you like that? We've been working, haven't we, Tobin? We just did a live stream there with my friend Sarah from Our Tribe of Many. We talked all about once a month grocery shopping, didn't we? We did. Tobin nursed through most of it. You came out at the end to see the ladies and he was really engaged watching the video. So I thought, oh, we could talk to our friends on YouTube here for a minute. So Sarah and I just chatted all about once a month grocery shopping with our friends over in the large family table community with those ladies but now Sarah was saying her family already had dinner and I said my family has it because I gotta cook it and film it and we were joking life of a youtuber right right so we are going to do let me see what the name of it is I do have a meal plan and meals that I am filming for you all this week pretty sure yes it's my sausage and peppers casserole that's it that's low carb I'm gonna have to talk out my plans. So my ground beef's defrosted. Yes, Tobin. Our sausage is defrosted. We have to cook those in a pan. Yes. And then what else do we have to do? Hmm. Well, we're gonna cook them, we're gonna drain them. I think there's some onion and some spices involved. This is really easy. You ready for this? We're gonna put them in the pan, cover them with mozzarella and pepperoni. Mm-hmm. Definitely low carb. <laughs> Yeah, so two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of Italian sausage with the casings removed, an onion chopped. That's what we need to get. Just running through the list, right? We're going to get our jars of pizza sauce. And then we are going to get our mozzarella. Oh, and the pictures look so beautiful. She did a good job with those pictures. Then it's going to go in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. I realize this video has taken a strong what's for dinner showing all the dinners for the week and not showing a lot of the other meals that's just just how it's been going yesterday we went to the lake again mm -hmm. Travis reminded me today when we were talking that we were gone every day this last week Monday we were at the lake Tuesday we visited a family member out of state and and we went out of state to visit Wednesday, we went to our friend's house and played in their field all day and had our mama therapy, yes. Thursday, we had our heavy playground morning. Oh, and then afternoon appointments. And then yesterday, we went back to the lake again. That's right. Well, and today, today we went out. So I took the kids out today. They had their bucks that they've been saving. You are happier when you look, when you look at the screen. Whoop. <laughs> it's like no now he's looking at my phone screen took the kids today to our little local Dollar Tree and it was cute they each got their green basket and went through the store filled their baskets Benjamin had three dollars but he must have gone through nine different choices and even towards the end I heard him saying they had the giant pens in a container and I heard him saying I'm sorry Steggy I'm sorry Steggy I will miss you I love you Steggy I'm sorry he was apologizing to a little stuffed stegosaurus toy and putting it down while he was grabbing one of the giant pens and putting it in his cart instead and I said now Benjamin if you love your stegosaurus enough to be apologizing to it <laughs> that you have to leave it you should probably get the stegosaurus right right Tobin get that stegosaurus maybe in another week when you have some more bucks you can come back and get the giant pen so Steggy came home with us didn't he Tobin mm-hmm and I carried Tobin and then you slept after that we had to go to Walmart because we have Father's Day and a birthday tomorrow so we got birthday cake and we got some Father's Day goodies. We got Daddy a carrot cake. I could have made a carrot cake, but here I am. I'm going to make dinner. That'll be good. That'll be good. All right. You ready, Tobin? We sat here. We talked as long as we can. Now we got to get it cooking. Okay. Ready, set, go. And also, oh, it's exciting. I just changed him. I was going to go put him in his swing while I make dinner. Oh. Oh. 
big size. One of the things I was telling Sarah and the membership ladies about is that Tobin, 13 weeks old now. Why you do it, Tobin? Why you do it? We're thankful. We're thankful. Oh, yes. He's just cooing and doing all the things. I've been noticing more, especially in this last week. I need to pull out the Sierra to three month, move in the three to six month, and then like this onesie he has on is actually a six month one. Sorry, pulled out the wrong one. When we went to Walmart today to get Father's Day carrot cake, etc., just a few little things, I picked him up some more of those three to six month little onesie outfits. I'll show you. It's different than a onesie. You'll see what I'm saying. It'll be better when I can show you. Okay, let's turn around and look. This is what I mean. Like little rompers. There's the word I'm looking for. So I got him this cute little romper. And then, oh yes, and that little romper. Because they're just so cute. He has a lot of onesies, but I thought good prices. And considering he'll probably wear these every week for <laughs> all summer long. Right, Tobin? Yeah, yeah. So I got everything out. Let's get cooking. We are making two of those sausage and pepperoni casseroles. Very much like a pizza casserole. I'm not going to chop an onion and I'm not going to chop any extra peppers. I'm just going to use this baking blend. They're calling chickens. Are they calling chickens or cats? Cats. Calling somebody. Anywho, gonna get the ground beef and the mild Italian sausage. Call in very loudly out that window, kiddo. It's an easy recipe, let's get this going, yay. So then we're gonna take the sausage out of the casings there, cook that with two pounds of this four and a half pound pack. This pack actually hasn't been frozen, so I'm gonna just throw the other half in the freezer. I'm just trying to stay focused on this recipe for the moment. I'm using the freezer blend this time instead of cutting an onion. Then we've got our pizza sauce and our mozzarella and pepperoni. So I'm browning my ground beef and my sausage. I am just using my Ikea pot because I couldn't find any of my other pans underneath. They must both be in the sink. My two big ones I would cook this much meat in because I can't find them anywhere else. Okay, and so then for my pepper and onion blend here, can I do it without the scissors or a knife? Oh, hold on. Stand up, little chopper. Okay. I have to run across for my scissors. Alrighty, and my recipe up over on the blog calls for one chopped onion, and then I mention how you can use peppers in it, or any other veggies really, that you want to sneak in. So, at least an onion helps. So, chopping all that up. I'll give you a look. There you go, that's how it's looking. Okay, so I can't stand it. I. I have the little bit of ground beef that's left over that was repackaged. That wasn't like a perfect two and a half extra pounds. It's probably closer to two. I'm gonna go ahead and cram it in this pot. We're not cram it. There's plenty of room in the pot. We're gonna have some extra meat in it. It'll make the meal go a little farther. I just, my brain can't do it. I'm adding it in. But when you make this, if you want two nine by 13 pans, it's two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of sausage, okay? But I'm using four and a half pounds of ground beef and two pounds of sausage. Okay, okay, I guess I will just get out an extra jar of spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce and maybe I'll use my little bit. Oh, sorry. Turned my head wrong and caught my neck weird, huh? <laughs> I'll use my little bit bigger casserole dishes, okay. And I have this half a pack, so about five ounces of this 10 ounce bag of seasoning blend also left. And I'm, hold on Danny, I'm gonna add this in. What you need, sweetie? There we go, yay, stretching it. Alrighty, so eyeballing this. I'm gonna 
pour it into my pans there. Steaming hot. Come on there. There you go. Let me see in the back of my pot. and we will spread that out. Sorry, I got my fan going. You may not be able to hear me mumbling over here. Okay, so again, really simple recipe because we were out a lot today. Whew, I'm like a, in a smoke, smoke machine, huh? And then I have some work this afternoon and my live stream video thingy. I just wanted some easy tonight. Yes. So, I'm going to start pouring on pizza sauce. Now we are going to add on our mozzarella cheese on top. See how easy this is. Just a little more. It ends up being about three cups. These are little sprinklings. There we go, it's about a cup and a half on each. Those were not whole handfuls of cheese. You know, we always joke that a cup, one of my handfuls of cheese is a cup of cheese around the world. Those last other little ones were little sprinkles. Okay, now we will do our pepperonis and I will line them up really pretty. You know, if I'm holding the camera in one hand or if I'm holding a baby or doing something, sometimes just like my tater tots, I just dump them on down there. But I can, I can take time to line things up. Yes, yes. Also, if all you can do is <laughs> drop some pepperoni on there, mama, you just drop some pepperoni on there. Well, I hear my baby in the background. If you hear him, I'm gonna get this casserole in the oven. Now I'm just putting pepperonis out willy-nilly. My true style, I couldn't do it. Anyway, I'm gonna get this in the oven and I'm going to go get my baby. This will take about 30 minutes. All right, both pans going in the oven now, yay. So they will be in here at 350 for about 30 minutes. I just switch these pans around. I like that top one to, that cheese to just darken up just a little bit more. All right, so here are both pan pulls. That pan's still a bubbling, but there we go. Now we're gonna make dinner plates. Alrighty friends, here is my mama plate for tonight. Now we're gonna make everybody else's and finally eat dinner, yay! Okay, I'm, I'm taking deep breaths. Been having another project day around here. Been packing up all of our homeschool DVDs that I rented for the past year. Have to be back within the next 30 days. Whenever I rent them, you get them for 13 months, okay? So anyway, whenever I rented them, it's a 13 month rental, okay, okay. And if you wanna hear more about that, I'll link a video in the description below where I just answered a whole bunch of questions in general. And I shared about some homeschool curriculum and stuff we used for this past year. But anyway, whole lot of kids, whole lot of curriculum, a whole lot that has to be sent back and a whole lot to keep. And again, this is like a different style curriculum than we've ever used before. The experience with the curriculum and actually using it has been super. And I actually have a small pile of things that we're gonna keep for a few more months here. And then I have a whole lot that's going back. Follow it, I don't know. I'm not following this, okay? We're not following this, Tobin, right? Although your hair looks fantastic. Yes, it does. Look, he's smiling. <laughs> Your hair's looking great, buddy. <laughs> he cracked a smile at me when I was telling him. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some of these piles. This is me trying to explain to you where the day has gone. Yesterday, Father's Day, birthday, ordered food, 
ordered requested food, Walmart cakes, all kinds of fun stuff. And today with projecting, I still can't get back in my cooking groove. It'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be making some kind of soup, but today I'm like, I just have to focus on this homeschool organization mess <laughs> that I have in front of me. Just end of year stuff. Okay, all you homeschool mamas get it. So, so Tobin, help mama through this. I finally decided, I looked through the freezer because from when I was in the hospital in January, we still had a few different Stouffer's things, like stuff I just did on a Walmart grocery pickup order. So we had a chicken lasagna and we had a macaroni and cheese. I'm just doing them both and that will be dinner and I'm just not gonna care. I'm giving myself homeschool mom organization slash decluttering burnout grace today. So I'm gonna show you some of this. I could have showed it to you earlier and I just didn't wanna take the heat. I didn't wanna hear, didn't wanna hear about it. But there's, it's, the piles are smaller now. So I'll share a little of this. Okay, some random notebooks on the floor. Some random notebooks, but I know what these are for, yes. These are boxes that are going back with the shipping labels. This is a whole pile of DVDs that I must have had a bigger box for and I just can't find a variety of things. So they were actually impressed though when I called them because they were like, most people don't even save their boxes to resend their things back in. A big, big list I had, I had to call them and make sure all my shipping labels were right. Random pencils. This is just a whole stack of randomness. And over here, hmm. This is the at least halfway organized stacks. And then since we did our lot of core subjects with the DVD lessons this year, that was like our little technology stack. Over here are, each kid had their own tote box this year. We're gonna do, I'll show you here. We're going to get to the project here real soon. This can become like a whole home update video, so I know you follow me. What ends up happening in this foyer is laundry baskets get stacked, either laundry that has to be processed and empty laundry baskets. And then for this past year, we have our homeschool boxes, random hat, gonna vacuum in here next. Homeschool boxes here, those heaters are not in use. So, amazing thing that's gonna happen because you know new house it's like you start over again right <laughs> but location 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 so we're gonna do those ikea bookshelves here i think we can get several sections in and this will at least give us our upstairs homeschool library i think with just the flow of this house even once the whole basement is done i can't see us because I've, you know, we've had multiple home levels before. I can't see us all going downstairs to a homeschool room every day. It's just, it's not functional in the whole homeschool life flow. I need a table by the kitchen. <laughs> this is how it has always worked. So even with the downstairs finished, we will still end up doing the majority of our homeschool time upstairs. Now the kids do spread out. I might have some kids in the living room or on this couch or out on the back porch. Some take their work or certain subjects or for certain days they go to their desk. All that's fine, but all that's upstairs. We talk about a lot of stuff here. We talk about my shelves and my house configuration. So I'm explaining to you that's why we're gonna do Ikea bookshelves in here because actually living here, that makes sense with the table there and the upstairs living room and then the flow. You with me, you with me. And then if you're wondering, why do you have laundry baskets blocking your front door? Because we just never use this door. So it's another thing I feel I have to explain. <laughs> so laundry for now is here. I do have eventual laundry room plans that's a whole other video but thanks for listening to some of the organizational insanity wrapping up homeschool year stuff for this year getting stuff freshened up and continuing to move forward that's what i'm doing today all that to say that's why i'm not cooking dinner so here's what i am doing for dinner i have the chicken lasagna already in the oven 
I have several packs of these. These can go in the oven for about an hour, and this is in the oven for about an hour as well. Lasagna's for two hours. So I'll be throwing these in at the end. Oh yes, I will. So friends, I'm sitting here taking out this bag of pistachios because it seems like it's the thing I should do. On my whiteboard, I tell ya, still got things done. I had adulting phone calls I had to make today. Had to call the dentist, had to call the homeowner's insurance, had to call the chiropractor. All done. We had to clean some closets, that's done. Cleaned out some kitchen cabinets, wiped down kitchen cabinets, wiped down walls. Bedrooms were freshened up, just normal maintenance there. I still wanted to do the windows, but we got the school boxes cleaned out. Got all this returnable curriculum boxed up. What else? Yeah, I think, I think I'm getting there. I think there's hope. Okay, yay us. <laughs> So I'm trying to do things like make myself notes. So when I go into the UPS store tomorrow with all these boxes, I will remember all the things I figured out today, right? So this is a packing slip for uh, about eight DVDs, eight DVD sets. Uh, let me show you that look like this. So about eight of these, this is the packing slip but I don't have a box that will fit all these. So it's very simple. All I need to do is buy a box. Buy a box, J. Morell, and put the label on it, hand it to the lady. But I have a running list now of all the things I need to remember. I need to remember some things obvious. Obviously, a lot of these boxes need tape. Some things not so obvious, like I have a whole other bag of internet routers. Two routers from an internet company we were trying out, and I need to also mail those back to that company. So I'm going to make myself a master list, but I'm also, also have these other notes and lists around to keep it straight and get this done. Yay. Don't you just love it though? When you can take a day and get some of like the, the pressures on your head items complete. It's a day, but we're doing it. Okay, I still couldn't get the dinner table cleared by uh, by dinner time. So I have been feeding the kids their sliced turkey and macaroni outside. The chicken lasagna, it's not quite done yet, but that was probably overkill anyway. But, you know, a couple of the folks I thought would be eating with us are not. So I know, not appetizing, but that's okay because mama's busting through the papers. Yay!
Well, happy day. I made it through all that massive homeschool organization last evening. Now, I feel like we're fresh. I just, I needed to take some time and get that done. So today, we are off to play in a friend's field again. Yes, we are. After, after I drop off that big load at the UPS store. And I'm able to think about food a little more today. So I've got some squash and zucchini sauteing that I'm gonna have with my breakfast because you know that's like what I eat every day, it seems like. For dinner tonight, I've had this kielbasa in my refrigerator and this has, this has a good shelf life. It's like August 16th, 2021, but I think this has been in my refrigerator for like two months now. And there was another recipe I was gonna use with this. That time has kind of come and gone. It might have been my recipe I have for it's like a sheet pan hash. Okay, but I'm not thinking about that today. I just need to get something in a slow cooker. And I'm also on a cabbage kick. So I've got two heads of cabbage. I've got a bag of golden potatoes. I have an onion and I have this kielbasa. And I'm gonna throw it all in the slow cooker for just that. It'll be fantastic tonight. You can also do this in the Instant Pot. That was my plan yesterday. I was gonna take some time last evening to throw this in the Instant Pot and have it for dinner. And then I was like, I'm not chopping nothing. Stover's to the rescue with those few meals we had left. But today, gonna throw this in the slow cooker and we get home this evening, I'll be glad I did it. And then also, it's hard. Sometimes if I get too many kitchen things going at one time, you know, trouble happens, but I think I can finish sauteing these uh, while I get my slow cooker stuff ready. These are about done anyway, yay. And I had a kiddo chop these up for me, so there's, I'm still finding like the little, little heads of zucchini in here. I think that was the last one. But yeah, they did a good job chopping. Okay friends, so I'm filming and I'm gonna be shoving a lot of this in my face, but I need to also chop this cabbage and the onion and the sauce to the potatoes, multitasking at its finest. Okay, so chopping and food shoving, here we go. So I added in that chopped onion, I added in three, 14 ounce packs, almost three pounds of this kielbasa. I added in uh, about 24 ounces of chicken broth. I'm gonna throw some minced garlic in here, salt and pepper, again with seasonings. You can adapt it and base it off of what your family's preferences are. I'm still gonna get these potatoes in there. Now this is, and bring it on over, 
This is my 10 quart slow cooker. And also a lot of this cabbage is gonna reduce down. So you know me, I'm gonna jam it to the top, but by the time I get home this evening, it's not gonna be the top because it's gonna cook down. Yay. Alrighty, so I'm trying, trying to juggle all this and show you. I'm gonna put in garlic salt, onion powder, pepper, some Italian seasoning. Got my potatoes crammed up to the top. Also gonna still dribble some minced garlic around in there. And then we'll cram this lid on. I'm gonna cook it on low for, it'll end up being seven or eight hours before we get back to it. The lid actually fit on there just fine. It's cooperating. It's turned on. It's on low. Now, now we'll clean up and go. Yay. Alrighty, so I don't always eat all my squash, zucchini, and eggs. And we do have to hit the road. So I will just put this in a container and this will probably be like my 11 p.m. snack tonight. Okay, so we just got home and I was getting ready to put cabbage and kielbasa and potato slow cooker dinner in uh, the stack of bowls here. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute. I need to share what it looks like. So there you go. You see how it cooked down. Smells really good. I know not everyone is a fan of the cooked cabbage smell, but it has all blended together and it is not offensive, yay. So this is going to be dinner tonight. And this is how it looks, how dinner looks in the bowl. Yum. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes and amen, all the things we say around here. It's so my goats hollering in the background. If it sounds like kids screaming, it's, it is kids screaming because little goats are called kids. Okay, <laughs> it's my goats making a ruckus. So today, not everybody is up yet. Actually, Naomi is laying on the couch holding Tobin for me because I was puttering around doing a few things this morning. Today, I'm hoping to pull it together and go with my mom, Naomi and Tobin to Sharp Shopper. It's been a probably a month since I've been there or over a month, five weeks, yay. I know it by my hair appointments. <laughs> and I missed my appointment this week. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, you can, can see that because I'm trying to circle back to use a different location that is now open again in our area. Okay, more, more than you need to know about my hair. Anyway, all that to say, I wanna go to Sharp Shopper because I have to go out anyway, since I'm getting an X-ray on that right kidney, just to verify what's happening in there again real quick. And then we'll be having the kidney procedure appointment and I hope to get it scheduled. I'm sure I've mentioned to you at some point, I've decided to just jump in and tackle this thing. Uh, Cause like even, even though I'm not in excruciating pain, in the middle of the night when I wake up, it's like my whole lower back hurts. And in the morning when I wake up, my lower back is stiff. And I know what it's like when my right kidney says hi, <laughs> but I think what's going on with my lower back is also related to the fact that, oh, Cats are swatting at each other. Mm -hmm. Friendly wins again. Okay, he's looking at his paw. He's handling it though. I just think it's what's happening in my kidneys back there that's causing that. So we're gonna get that scheduled. And then later this evening, we have some friends coming over in the evening time. Just moms figuring out the best we can with our schedules. And I'm hoping tomorrow to get in a large family grocery shopping haul and work on that video for you guys because that is also overdue. So I'm gonna get this day a rolling now. Okay, so even though Mama really enjoys Magic Spoon cereal because it's cereal, cereal that I can eat, there's some other folks who like it too. You want your cereal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna talk about the flavors yeah, here real like, quick. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, okay. Okay, so we've got cocoa. This is the chocolate. I want it. You want the chocolate. We also have frosted. So we got fruity, and then we have mommy's favorite, which is the peanut butter. Which one do you want, Benny? Chocolate. Chocolate. The chocolate. cocoa. You both want cocoa. Okay, let's go. I want chocolate. Okay, let's get. 
So we got Benjamin. Yeah. Yo. Daniels. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna it might make chocolate milk, huh? I think it does a little bit. We got some almond milk here. So there is Daniel. I'm gonna hand it to you, and there is Benny's. Okay, you can take your bowls. Like I can't hold the camera and the baby and fill the bowls. Yes, but growing boys love it too. Mmm. Is it good? Yum yum. Give me some. Well, I am back from my appointments today. Total flop with the x-ray and the scheduling at the hospital. I have to go back Monday and do it all again. <laughs> they could not get a clear x-ray. They did not want to take it again today. It's just, so it's just one of those like, again, hurry up and wait, hurry up and wait. So there was that afternoon out, right Tobin? We ended up not going to Sharp Shopper because I had to go to the UPS store before and get all the those curriculum DVDs. You trying to eat my shoulder? Ooh, ooh. Get all those DVDs mailed back. Get some modems sent back. Just you know, administrative household things. And it it, it took a long time in there too. So anyway, bouncing my baby around. Uh, while I was gone, Travis and the boys did a lot of projecting. I took the younger kids with me, and my mom, and Naomi, and the baby. And then Zion and Gabriel and Liam stayed home and have been projecting. So I'll show you what they've been working on and what they built today. We got this new climbing dome together, and they got, we also, after I the- I got a dragon. You got a dragon. Priorities after all my hospital hopping around stuff. We went to the thrift store because I had promised them we would go to the thrift store today. And you got, what did you get, Benny? You got a medical kit? That was a nice find. Yeah, so it I came. I bought my other toys in. You did, uh, yeah. I bought a dragon. You bought a dragon, 50 cents. Oh, wait. Benjamin got a medical one. kit for $2.99. We hadn't had one of those in a while. You gonna work on me? Nice. And then we got some little you stuffies that we need to work. So anyway, sorry, my battery died for a minute. Like Climbing dome complete. And I don't know in this video or not if I showed you that this swing set was put together. Did I show you that? I think I showed you the box in the last video. But I don't know that I showed you the swing set. So there we go. And then also today, they worked on getting the lower branches off of these evergreens so that we can mow in there because, you know, wildlife and all. Cats, <laughs> more kitties. Oh, and did I show you this yet? The new, the new wall, the new privacy fence is complete. We are gonna stain it. But uh, yeah, and Travis, is, Travis is over there working already. Actually, he's down there on his scoop thingy. So, got my, got a halo top up here. Get a halo top up in this place, right? <sighs> Sitting, resting. Uh, I do have a good friend of mine is gonna come over and sit and chill out with me. She's bringing one of her kiddos. They're gonna play on that climbing dome with the kids and we're gonna talk about the, everything in the world that needs talked about and make plans and all that good stuff. And then for dinner tonight, my plan already was that uh, we're gonna get some grilling action going. So Travis is gonna do burgers and hot dogs and we're gonna chop a watermelon. We haven't had a watermelon here in the last few days. And late, hi sweetie, later this evening I have to get some meal planning and recipe plans and just get, get everything ready for my once a month grocery shopping that I hope to do tomorrow. So those are, that's what's happening at the moment. 
Also, this is funny, you know, sometimes I find myself doing these things and I'm like, Jim Morell, it probably doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> Maybe you find yourself doing something silly once in a while. So, I had promised the kids that we'd go to the thrift store because last time I found that Batman tower and that PJ mask truck and so they are all about, let's go back in there and see what else they have. So, we get there and of course I have my great big bag and I thought, I don't have to carry this whole big thing and the car seat. They have very small carts in there and I knew the car seat would fill up the whole cart and I didn't want to carry Tobin while also having younger kids who needed to hold carts. You following me? So I thought, well, I'll just take in my bank card and my keys and the next thing, you know, of course I need my phone and then I had a water bottle and then I had a diaper because I needed to change Tobin inside and it ended up being a lot of stuff. So I had this empty plastic diaper bag that Tobin's last little pack of diapers came in and so I was like, okay, well, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna just put everything in this little bag so I'm not taking in my full purse. And then you know, as a mom, you can like put your car keys and a water bottle and even a diaper in the side of the car seat. But it just felt like it was adding up to too many quick things I was grabbing. Benjamin is now, wow, you moved, you got that. Move, moving a kid picnic table. I was wondering how that was gonna go, but you did it, good job. Anyway, I took the plastic bag that the diapers had, the last diaper came out of, put all my little odds and ends in that I needed to carry, and as I'm in there, I thought, I'm gonna go back to having a little purse inside my big purse, so when I need to run into a store again, or anywhere, or you know, out on the playground, or on a walk, or whatever, when I don't need to take my massive suitcase, hey Amelia, I will have my little purse to quickly throw some things in, so, that's my little purse that I picked up. Looks like a little homemade purse at this point. I don't care. And even now, coming out, hey sweetie, coming out to sit, I threw my halo top and my phone and my camera and my quick odds and ends in there, my sunglasses, without carrying a big bag. Thanks for listening. That's purse therapy, yay. Okay, good morning, good morning. I am making, it's just, it's turned out so big, but I've been making these egg and cheese sandwiches on the Ezekiel English muffins. Mine's just, looks huge. Got a bunch of eggs on there today. Liam made eggs again this morning for me to do these sandwiches. So yay, that's breakfast this morning. And then true confessions. Some of the kids have also had chocolate chip Eggo waffles. <laughs> yay. Thank you again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Click my link in the description below, enter code JMorell for $5 off your popular four pack variety box. You know what, I realized I'm ending this video in the same shirt that I started this video on, but there you go, that's uh, my version of a minimalist wardrobe, ha ha ha. Do I need to clean out my closet though? Maybe soon I'll get some like major old clothes purging decluttering videos going on up in here, right? So getting ready to film me cooking something else. I hope that you enjoy all these large family meals that we cooked up in a variety of ways this last week or so. I always enjoy doing these videos for you and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. I'll talk to you in those comments below. Bye-bye.